Hello Sagittarius, I'm Susie from The Gift 202. Sorry reading's late, I've tried to do it four times and it keeps effing up. That's what it keeps doing. So Sagittarius, Sagittarius, for the week, angels, spirit guide, universe, what would you like Sagittarius to know about the week of the 7th of March, please? The week of the 7th of March. Okay, so that one came up first. No, no, no. Can I have one more, please, for Sagittarius, please? Angel, spirit guide, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Angels for the 7th of March, for the week of the 7th of March. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. No. So, one, two, three, okay. So, Sagittarius, we have the magician with judgment here. These are major... And then you've got the Wheel of Fortune. You've got you've got a couple of uh, major arcanas in this this reading. So you, the, you're at a crossroads with this magician. Okay. You're on a, at a point in life where things you can make things go up or down. It's up to you. All right. Everything you've got all the tools at your disposal. You've got the sword of truth. You've got the heart, the beginning in love. You've got the stability offers. You've got the the creativity. Okay. So. At this point, you can either make it work or you can fuck it up. <laughs> so, he's got one arm up, one arm down. This is the crossroads, but it's not. there's four places to choose from. You're the magician. You've got a magic wand, Sagittarius. So you have to make one of these roads a success or not. You, it, you can't blame anyone else for how you get there it's all down to you at this point okay with the judgment you might be dealing with something karmic or someone karmic you're realizing that nobody's perfect not even you and all these skeletons are coming out of the closet to heal this is like um it's judgment day it's purging when you have an awakening you and you're really in it and you're meditating you're doing this daily on a daily basis okay you're going even into past lives, right? So this crossroads is, is what do I do now? I'm not perfect. I've realized this, this thing. Maybe this person is, is meant for me. They're from another life. And um, maybe I've not been great either. So you're, you're deciding to go down a road that is, you, you have to make a success now, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. It's, it's, these are two very karmic cards and you could be dealing with a fire sign this king of wands um well this is your element you want to take action the time is now to take action to go and get what you desire okay um the wheels turning in your favor things are healing things are coming out of the closet you can't get into heaven until you've looked back on your life judgment day but you're doing it at this point um you want to take action and you might go somewhere this week to literally have your swords in front of you and decide you want more peace you just want peace okay this could be going home to a family this could be joy this could be children this is divine love this is somewhere where you feel happy and joyous um you could be moving away from a family but because that comes out here there's some kind of happiness you go to seek it could be a house you're moving to a new house possibly um, but it's it's this ten of cups is divine love this is um god-given confusion with the moon there's secrets being exposed um it could be within the family uh, but it will take you the month of the moon to try and sort this out um You, you, and so sorry, I've just I thought I just saw a ghost go past my window. Um, not a real ghost. Well, yeah, fuck, I won't go into it. The the moon of the moon. The this is confusion, and you have to wait. This it could something could happen under the moon. There's I think there's a full moon coming up. So um, this could be a, it's a t 
timeline for you to know that there's some kind of confusion coming. You don't know whether to what you're doing. You don't know what the coup is because you've maybe found out a secret within the family. Um, maybe it could be a brother that doesn't have your back or a Gemini that doesn't want to talk to you um, or this this person who, who you thought would come and take action with you doesn't. They don't want to talk and that's with the confusion what's going on here. Um, so that leaves you in this contemplative, nostalgic, please bring them back step. Okay, so um, you're thinking of the past, you're thinking of someone from the past, and it can mean someone from the past coming back into your now. But I feel that either they or you need to release yourself from this overwhelm of worry, and this may be a third party situation. Um, before you can have that past thing, you have to get out of your, this, he can walk out of this, this gap at any moment. These witches are poking him. Here's the sun saying, you know, what are you going to do? All right. Y you can stay in this trap and this turmoil and this worry, or you can just walk away from it. And just, you're not in prison. You're, you might be standing on a trap door. So wouldn't you want to step off that trap door? Okay. It's, it's, it's like, you know you're in something that's in a triangle or you keeping one person from finding out about another person and that's the trap so you, and you can walk away from this at any minute uh, there is uh, the queen of swords up here who's the absolute truth what she says goes very cold to the warmth of relationship an air sign she wants to talk about something she wants to tell the truth could be a widower someone who's divorced um just someone's walking away from a trap to an absolute new beginning, Sagittarius, which is in it. This is, I think this is you. You're just going to travel, start at something fresh, start from a zero point. This is joy. This is children. It's like, I don't want to be in this trap any longer than I have to be. You could be offered travel by this Queen of Swords. Um, but I think this is like, enough is enough i really do need to cut through to the truth in this situation and spring's coming this is the fall this is like joy i'm out this this situation is too um it could be just to do with family but it, it the wheel is turning in your favor things are being healed and there's action being taken you might go off and do something with family this week and that causes the confusion. Uh, this, again, is someone's not, they haven't got your back and that's what could cause the confusion. So that makes you want this love back. But first you need to get rid of your worries, get rid of feeling like you keep have to keep holding secrets or something you're trapped in you need to walk away from. And this Queen of Swords could enable you to do that is get out of this because she speaks the truth it's like no no more this is how it is you know i've, I've been there done that this is why the ice capped mountains are behind her it's the it's ice queen and this fall this like i see it as aries um is is the spring it's like once you untrap yourself this joy comes in this New beginning, absolute new beginning in travel. Let's ask the angels, angels, spirit guides, what would you like Sagittarius to know about the week of the... So there's travel at the end of this week, Sagittarius. Let me do it again. Sagittarius, 7th, week of the 7th of March for Sagittarius, please. Week of the 7th of March, what would you like Sagittarius to know? What are the energies for Sagittarius? Romance angels, give us the energies, okay. We have... Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this person, it might be that, you know, you're at this crossroads and there's something that needs to be cleared up within the family, within a love situation. Know that it might take the month of the moon, okay? For you to get out of this trap there's certain things that you need to do and this person doesn't want to talk about it and i do see him as a brother because they're the brothers they're the gemini he runs into a battle and wants to start a war and he says i've got your back i'm coming with you i'll back you up so this person isn't backing you up they're not backing you up 
So that means you're trapped in this past situation, maybe thinking about your past, and or maybe if I was with so and so, it would have been better, and um, or this is someone from the past, and you trapped yourself again, and then it's this epiphany. It's like actually, I could just go. Even if you need to get on a train and go to the seaside for the day, do it because that it will just bring back such a fresh energy. You've got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. The truth is told, end of this week, joy comes back into your life, a passion for something. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? Sagittarius, give me one more card. Sagittarius, let's see. Oh, children, your love life is being affected by children. Now, this is the children card. It could be that there's children from another partnership, there's children that are causing trouble within a relationship, or it's just this family kind of worry. Um, or that someone's being very, very childish. Um, I do have that fall, and it does represent children. You've got the home, family home here. Someone's taking action towards you. It's really lovely, but it causes a confusion within the family. So let's ask the angels. Sorry, it's so general, but you can't read a personal reading. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Sagittarius to know about this week of the 7th of March for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, 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 spirit guides, what would you like to know about Sagittarius? I'm helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. There's things healing with this judgment. You're at this crossroads and maybe you can't move forward until you've healed something within the family, within this children, to get out of this trap so you can begin this new passion. Angels, spirit guides. The, the, the wheel of fortune's in your favour. The time is now. It's now. Okay, to do it. It's saying, yes, do it now. And, and it will all pan up the correct way. We've got see only love. Your past are seeming errors, mistakes and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. Clear sentience. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. The time is now. Do whatever it takes to get you out of that trap to bring this passion in and this new beginning um you you've got the wheel of fortune on your side so and there's love here in the home there is a family love here it's just that something's very confusing it could be that um it could be a pregnancy sometimes with the ten of cups the moon and the fall up there um whether maybe this person wants children you might be getting pregnant they don't want children you might feel trapped by having children um yeah, but it's it's time because there's, so, there's a brand new jumping into the unknown at the end of this week. Um, it could be the birth of a child. Take care, Sagittarius, and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.